Today, I upgrade the original round halogen lights on my 80 series Land Cruiser from this to these 360 Pro Series LED lights by Oxbeam. And the difference is night and day, literally. Let's start with the before test. These are halogen fog lights from 1994, so don't expect much. First, I removed the plastic covers to get the best light output possible. I already upgraded the headlights to LED bulbs in a previous video. Link to that one will be in the description. These round fog lights do look good on the front of the vehicle as far as being period correct, but lighting technology has come a long way since the 1990s. And you can see there's a decent cutoff line there going across the toolbox, but they're not bright at all. Time for a road test. I'm turning the round lights off and on and you can barely see any difference. I have the headlights on too because I need to see. Let me get to a back road and I'll show you just the round lights with no headlights. All right, now I can show you just the round fog lights. There. I can hardly see anything in front of me. They're so dim, I can't really go any faster than this. Eight miles per hour. Because I can't see more than maybe 25 feet in front of me. All right, headlights back on for a second. We're about to go up a big hill. So there's the original halogen lights from 1994. Let's get back to the garage and check out their replacements. Oxbeam 360 Pro Series 9 inch LED off road fog lights. Look at this. This is beautiful. Polycarbonate lens, cast aluminum housing, heavy duty bracket, 26 LEDs plus one in the projector in the center for distance. These are beautiful. We've got a wiring harness, has a built-in relay. It's all plug and play. Here's the on off switch, bag of hardware, rubber mounting gaskets, and stainless nuts, bolts, washers, a sticker, that looks like it might be reflective and mounting instructions. And I also got a set of these amber light covers and another sticker. And not only are these covers going to protect the lights, but I like the old school amber look that it gives these state of the art LED fog lights. It's gonna make them look more in place on a vintage Japanese SUV like an imported 80 series Land Cruiser. Let's go install these. One more reason that I'm upgrading these old Bosch fog lights to modern LED lighting is to preserve them. These were optional on certain Japanese Land Cruisers and they're actually very rare and are gonna be worth a lot of money as more collectors continue to scoop up these legendary SUVs. The lenses are glass and they've made it 26 years without breaking but I'd still feel better about keeping them safe in storage until the day comes when I can retire this 80 series Land Cruiser as a daily driver and restore it back to original showroom condition. Good, the new hardware fits perfect. However, these brackets are a lot wider than the OEM lights were. This rubber gasket's the same width. Yeah, not even close. I don't want to trim any of this plastic out there. I'm going to make a spacer to sit on here. I cut down some pieces of 3 16 inch uh, polycarbonate that I had lying around. And this will work. I just need to drill a hole. Perfect.
All right, that was pretty easy to install. And I'm liking the way these look. Let's get them wired up. I had to de-pin this plug in order to fit the wiring through a grommet in the firewall. Everything is plugged in and connected. New wiring comes through the grill like before. The old wiring is there. I'm just gonna get it tucked away somewhere safe. The harness goes behind here. I'll zip tie all this down last after I make sure it works. Positive off the battery terminal. Those others are for brake controller and seven pin trailer harness. Then it goes to the relay. I screwed it into this plastic here so nothing will rust. Then the harness goes down here into the firewall where Toyota was so kind to give us a piece of rubber that works perfect as a grommet. Then looking inside here, you can see that's where it ends up coming through there on the firewall. I repinned this plug and connected it and now it's time. All right, everything works. Now I went back and zip tied everything to make it secure and mounted. I ended up tucking the factory harness up here in the corner. The ox beam harness was plenty long enough. There's the extra length that I didn't use. There's a better look where I went through the firewall. Then I ran wire over to the driver's side, over the hump there. Let's go around to the driver's side. Comes out over here, and I ran it up to, let me climb in here, this blank panel where some 80s have the switch for front and rear lockers, mine does not. But I wanted to get another one of these before I cut this one, just in case they're ever discontinued. And that will be mounted right there. The switch has a red light on it too, which is nice at night. So there they are. I highly doubt my camera even shows how bright these are. They do hurt my eyes if I look right into them. Now that I have these adjusted in place, I can tighten them down. Now they're ready for the test. Better not forget that. We're back on my country testing road and bam wow i can turn these headlights off so i can see everything now before i could even go much faster than idle speed because i could hardly see with those old bosch halogen lights going up this big hill again wow i see the entire next hill i'm turning my uh, headlights back on here in case anyone's coming at me the road flattens out up here that stop sign is about eight mile away let's go back to just the headlights I'm gonna stop and uh, pull the amber covers off okay now I'm heading back without the amber covers so I've got a crisp white light I think the color temperature on these was 6800 K the bugs definitely seem to be noticing me more without the amber covers. Probably confused why the uh, sun is coming down the road at 11 o'clock at night. The reflective signs were bright with the amber covers, but now it's like almost too bright to even look at them. I feel a lot more confident driving faster now uh, because I can see everything out in front of me. These will be awesome on a side-by-side -side or a buggy or something that can really go fast off-road. Coming back to a main road here. Don't want to blind anyone. I'm getting used to those ox beams. I used to think these headlights are pretty good. Okay, one more quick test. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Sorry if it's not clear. But wow, that sign is almost too bright to look at. Well done, Oxbeam. Well done. 
I'll put a link to these 9 inch lights in the description and they make a 7 inch version as well. One last demonstration. Here's the regular headlights, there's the high beams, back to low beams, and the 360 Pro Series LED by Oxbeam. If you enjoyed this video, uh, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. It's kind of dark in my garage. And consider subscribing for more how to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. Thanks for watching.